All right, so we are watching, just started, Don't Breathe, part one, because tomorrow we're going to go see part two. So it's going to be another double review. So let's do it. And now your mama knows. <laughs> The story was great. So mind you, this movie came out a while ago. And this thing still held up really good. The story was really good. It's about an old army veteran who lost his sight. And someone killed his daughter. Uh, and some kids go to rob his house. And all hells break loose. So if you didn't see it, that's all I'm going to say. Because, of course, these are spoiler-free reviews. So, whew. Uh, my expectations, it met exactly what I thought it would be. Because I've seen it before. And it didn't lose a step. Um, I guess I'll say it exceeded my expectations. Because I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did back then. But I liked it just as much. And because in all them years, I can't say there's really been another movie similar to this kind of um with this premise but it that's what made it really really good it didn't lose a step it's great all right guys <sighs> entertainment that's it you get no better than this with a suspense thriller the story was great the characters played a good role the guy that's blind that's trying to get you and it's all dark in his house, so you can't see. Man, listen. This is a great movie. This is how you make a good suspense movie. Like, everything was put together good from the beginning to the end. I have no complaints about this movie. And I can't wait to see part two after all this time. Let's go. All right, guys, last night watching Don't Breathe Part 1, epic. That movie didn't lose anything. As you can see, I loved it in my ratings, but check it out. Coming to the movies. So it's time to see Don't Breathe Part 2. Oh, wait. Sandy, do you think this is going to be better in Part 1? Mm, yes. All right, you heard it. I don't think it's going to be better in Part 1. I don't think it's possible. But uh, I can't wait to see how... Well, I can't wait to see how creative they get. So, let's see. Alright, so the movie just ended. I'm still sitting in the theater. And I'm going to tell you the story was pretty good. Um, I think the story in the first one was a little bit better. But um, just if you think of what they could do with a blind guy. Um, going up against a bunch of people. They did a pretty good job. And you, you see the trailer. The twist with the little girl. Um, and who is she and all that stuff so I think the story was pretty good I will say that alright guys let's talk about this expectation so hmm, I didn't think it would be better than the first one and uh, just because the first one had that crazy twist which I won't say if you've never seen it because uh, it says spoiler free but um so how did it meet up for my expectations of this movie itself from everything I've seen from the trailer it did have something that I didn't see coming, which was cool. Um, so what I thought was going to happen, I was wrong. So that was cool. I always like to be shocked. Um, but I guess the suspense of disbelief was a bit much, meaning how can you put something in a movie that can't really happen and make it happen? And it was just like, all right, come on now. This dude is blind, right? But um, it just worked well. So... I guess it met my expectations. It didn't exceed it, but it met it as a part two. And I didn't think it was going to be better than the first one. So it met my expectations. Entertainment. So let's just say this movie is no longer a suspense thriller. And it's a damn horror movie. This was on a level of Saw. The killing. The violence. Whew. Well, it definitely outdid the first one. Um, but with all of that, you got to have a good story that goes along. So the story was decent. Um, 
and it pretty much matched all the violence that went on. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a good ride. You know, you sit down, you strap in, and you go, you know, and you just follow this thing through. Um, I, I think you will be entertained, but if you were a big fan of the first one, you will definitely agree that it didn't match it. Because the first one was one of the really, really cool movies I've seen. And I just loved the whole movie and how they pulled it off. Um, but this does a great job as well. Um, just couldn't match the first one. So I've, it's hard for me to be like... Like, it was great. It was good. Um, but it's still in the back of my head. I'm like, okay, it was a good sequel. But it wasn't a successor. If that makes sense. But entertaining? Oh, yeah. And now, your mama knows.